so I'm in photo mechanic here and I'm just gonna launch this image not being happy all right there we go just gonna open this image we can kill that one so what I'm gonna be showing you is apply image and it's a function within Photoshop that not many people know exists or what it actually does because um, truthfully apply image doesn't really make any sense um, as far as wording and as far as what it does so first thing I'm going to do here is is it, what I want to show here is I'm just gonna um, open up these shadows and so I can make a normal adjustment layer and come in here and open those shadows up and I'll do it a lot just so we can see it I'll bring my highlights back down so our mask right here is applying it everywhere and so I could come in here with a brush and then paint that back out where I don't want any of that um, adjustment to be applied to. But as you can see, like getting these water droplets, especially in here where I want this little part to be open, but the other parts of the water not to be open would be really a lot of work to go in there and adjust that mask. So if I look, notice my mask is pretty crude. So what I'm going to do here is take this and I'm going to fill this. I'll go fill. There we want to switch it to white. All right, so we're going to fill that back with white. So now we're going to go up into apply image. So I'm going to go to image, apply image. And right now we're going to go to the background image which is this here we are gonna pick multiply and this is always multiply right and you, the only thing you're gonna really change is invert so invert is either gonna apply it to the shadow areas or the highlight areas only so we're gonna want the shadow areas and since it lightened it we know that effect is taking place so what I did here and I'll turn this on and off is I applied this curve to just my shadow areas but instead of going in and trying to paint it I made a mask and what's really cool about this mask is it is like a grayscale image and so it everything it finds that's dark or in the midtones it's gonna apply to so I'm gonna take a look so now you can see we have this beautiful tonal scale so all this dark areas it's not gonna be applied to and then depending on the tonal gradation of the rest of it it's going to apply a certain percentage of that so where it's completely white 100 percent you know uh it could be 50 percent, 20 percent, doesn't matter so let me turn this curve back off so if we look so it's just applying that to where it is i want it so like let's say i've decided that even though i made that mask i don't want it to be applied anywhere to the girl here so i can come in here and just paint her out and so now you can see I did a crude job of it but I painted it out of where she is if I wanted to come into the mask and be more accurate um, you can paint right into the mask as you're watching All right. so we will turn that back off so we can see that now we've applied that to her so just like I applied that to a shadow area I'll turn this one off you can also well, I can actually just leave it on you can also apply that to a highlight area so let's say I want to darken my highlight for some reason just we'll bring those down we're just gonna do it a little bit so we have the regular mask up here which is just showing us uh, that everything's being applied so I'll go up to image apply image so multiply we still have our background level this time I'll take the invert off right so now we see our mask and now we can see it's just being applied basically to the shadow areas and so now we can see that mask right you can actually click on your mask and just go into curves or levels and you can actually darken the mask so it will apply more to just your highlight areas versus everything else. So now I can turn this back on. 
and we can see that I've just slightly darkened this. And if I wanted to change my opacity, I could do that as well. But that's called apply image, and it gives you this beautiful tonal gradation mask that you can help apply. So when you have a, an area, of, um, and it would be very difficult to manually go in and just darken your shadow areas or darken your um, highlight areas, and it could be lightened too as well. It just kind of depends whatever you want to do. It allows you uh, to make a really cool um, mask and then apply that to your adjustment layer. So that is apply image and actually one of my favorite things to use when I have uh, complicated areas that would need to be selected.